In today's video, I got a special little treat for you about how to stop the run from shotgun in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you're brand new to the channel, maybe you don't know uh, what I do here. My channel is all about helping you get better at Madden 21 through uh, showing you how to get better on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball. And to be honest with you, I've been struggling a little bit with the, stra the shotgun run. So I jumped in the lab and found this little run defense. I'm um, actually kind of come full circle. I was running this in the beginning of the year, and I wasn't running it quite like this. And and kind of dawned on me that I could do this. So I want to, I'm excited to share this with you today. Um, now, real quick, before we jump into the video, I upload videos every day at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. I also have defensive ebooks, a full ebook on this formation, uh, or I'm sorry, on this 4-6 uh, four, uh, four, ebook that you can pick up in the description if you're interested, okay? So uh, let's talk a little bit about shotgun run. And in my opinion, the best way to run from shotgun um, is a slot offset. It's given me fits in weekend league. It's given me fits in regs it's giving me fits in every which way you could possibly think about it so um i'm gonna show you how to stop the run uh from gun a slot offset we're gonna start with 01 trap i think that's the best run from this formation and we're gonna go through the other ones as well so uh nickel three three five and what you want to do is you want to come out in, in your coaching adjustments you want to have auto flip set to on Auto alignment set to baseline, ball in our defense, play ball. And then, you know, these are the rest of the coaching adjustments that you can roll with. And the play we're going to be using is FS middle three. And the reason why is because it's going to give us a unique front that you can't really create otherwise within this. And real quick, what I'm going to do when I come out is I'm going to flip the play as soon as I come out. Okay, that's the key to running this defense. And then I'm going to make a significant amount of adjustments and basically turn this into a cover two on the... Um, you, you see here that it's basically cover three to the weak side. So we're going to flip it so that it's cover three to the strong side. And we're going to play cover two on the weak side. Okay, so I'll show you how to set this up. But the first couple adjustments are to flip the play and then to pinch your um, pinch your defense. Okay, so free safety middle three, I'm going to flip the play and then I'm going to pinch my defense. You see it's going to move these guys just like this. And then from there, I'm going to set up a basic coverage just like this right here. Um, and that's really what we're going to go with. And as you can see here, I'm running cover two to one side and cover three to another side. And I have my user right in here like this. Now, what I like to do is I like to crash my line down, QB contain, and then I'm going to put my user on a spy. I don't, when I want to stop the run, I want to put my user on a spy, not on a blitz. Because if you put him on a blitz and they ID him, um, it'll pick him up. And what you'll see right here is I have a lot of people that are going to be able to stop this run. It's not just my user. I don't have to just rely on my user to blow this up. In fact, I'm able to rely on a lot of other people as well. So you see here, I can run this flipped. Um, and it really turns it into a nice little coverage that you can really, uh, I think, use at a high level. Now, one of the other things that you can do with this is you can kind of turn this into um, almost like a cover, a roll coverage or, or whatever, right? But anyway, just want to show you this one more time. So crash line down. Make sure you keep it contained. And with your user, when you have this like little front right here, you want to stand just a little bit behind the defensive tackle. And I'm just going to run straight through. And as you see here, I'm going to blow this up in the backfield. So you don't want to stand right on top of the defensive tackle um, for this one. You want to basically be just a little bit off. And again, with my adjustments here on this right side, I can kind of do a little bit of whatever I want, right? I What I like to do most is play this defense right here. And then what I what I will tend to do with this linebacker is I'll just throw him into a hook curl. And I know that my responsibility is the left side of the field, um, whether it be a corner route, flat route, whatever it may be. Okay, so this will show you this one more time. A one trap is boxed. Okay, praise God, right? I've been losing this thing so, 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 so much. So um, that's how you stop a one trap. Now, the same defense can actually be applied to stop the inside zone, which is really, really nice. You see here, because you flip it, you get both linebackers in the gaps. I think that's really, really critical for stopping the run uh, from this formation. And so what we're going to basically do now is we are going to the same exact shoot applies, right? Everything is the same thing here. I'm going to stand about right here. I go to inside zone, snap the ball, and I'm able to shoot in. Now, I might not be able to always stop the run with my user, but what my user is going to do is it's going to force the run um, to basically have to do uh, some other things as well. One of the things you'll notice here is if I go to cover three and I flip it, I can actually flip this play multiple times as well and move that slot corner around. One other thing I'll show you after this is I'll show you kind of a, a little bit of a thing that you can do within your coaching adjustments that will help with your um, positioning of your players as well. But real quick, just wanted to show this inside zone really quickly here. Same type of shoot. And as you see here, 
I crash right up there. And, 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 and again, you know, with me using two controllers, it's making it a little bit challenging to uh, shoot this. Now, one thing I want to show you in your coaching adjustments really quick is um, a couple different things that you can do. So you can actually set your auto alignment to default if you want to out of this. This will help a little bit with your slot corners alignment on the play. And we'll show you why that makes a big difference in this uh, in this next segment. Now, for those of you that don't know, I actually have a free text message membership where I actually share with you every single week different offensive schemes and defensive schemes that pro players are using or that I'm using that I find very effective. These are full scheme videos, right? So it shows you from start to finish the entirety of a scheme. It's about 45 minutes to an hour long. So if you want to get that free text message membership, all you got to do is pull out your cell phone and shoot me a text message. My phone number is 812 812- 216-3644. It's also in the description and it's also in the top left hand corner of your screen right there. Um, so just so that you can have that and shoot me a text feel free. Uh, you can ask me any Madden question you want. It is my personal uh, cell phone number. Okay, so FS Middle 3, we're going to show you this kind of one more uh, one more variation of this as well. So I'm going to come out of FS Middle 3 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the play, but I'm going to man align. And as you see here, when I man align, it puts that slot corner. See how it puts that slot corner still on that play side? That is how you can handle like trips formations and things like that. And then you're just going to adjust this right side anyway. So you basically are going to play that coverage right there. And then my user is still in his zone. But now what I get is I get a three red cook on the field. I think this is actually a really, really good coverage defense. And of course, you can still run. You can still, you know, basically do the same kind of thing that you would already do if you wanted to throw a little purple zone and, and different things like that. But anyways, uh, as far as inside go, inside zone goes, this thing stops it um, in the backfield, as you see. And I can't, it's, it's, it's kind of tricky for me to shoot it, but this will stop inside zone in the backfield. I think this is a huge breakthrough for this defense um, just because, honestly, um, I was almost ready to give up on this uh, and jumped in the practice mode and found this because I was tired of getting ran on. Honestly, I, re I was really just tired of playing weekend league um, and getting ran on. I don't know why my guy just moved like that, though. Interesting. But if he, if they do that, just just flip it, you know, and you can you can flip this play like you can you can flip the play really, really quick at the pre snap menu. So you don't have to be super, super worried about that. Um, you're going to be able to get that flip off uh, in, in a situation like that. But you can still create this coverage right here. And I'll show you inside zone. And again, I want to be kind of backed off. I'm kind of the safe player. Shoot right through here. And if they don't, if the if I, if I my shoot doesn't stop him, then my, um, my slot corner will come off and stop him. So again, I might flip it. And if you want to, you can even flip it twice. I mean, it, it really isn't that big of a deal. Uh, but you'll see here, get these guys stacking, and that's that's where you know, like, when you get these stacks right here, this to me is the key to stopping any run. Um, it, it truly, truly is. I, I cannot under I cannot tell you how important um, these these guys being stacked on, on these on these defensive linemen it really is. So important for stopping O one trap. It's important for stopping inside zone. It's important. It's important for stopping power O and stretch in, uh, under center as well. But anyway, let me show you this one more time. So. Uh, inside zone, and we want to man align. I'm sorry, we want to man align. I don't know why my guys are being a little weird. My linebacker on that right side is being a little bit weird, so we'll man do that. There we go. That brings him in. Okay, we get our adjustments in, and this is inside zone. And real quick, I'm messing up with my line crash, but basically, you want to be kind of right in here, inside zone, and you're just coming through. And again. Part of the reason why it's not showing this to work very, very well is primarily, and real quick, one thing you want to do, like if you want to really protect everything, just globally blitz your linebackers, and then when you flip the play, you'll see that it will it will basically, you know, kind of bring them back in like the, like it's supposed to as long as they're globally blitzed, and then you can feel free to make the adjustments, which you're already going to adjust up the coverage a lot to create this little box coverage technique right here on the right side. You know, so that's kind of why I'm able to do that. And you can adjust the zones really quick um, this year. You know, it's not going to be that bad. But anyway, inside zone, when they're in the gap like that, it, it's a lot easier for um, it's a lot easier for the lineman to take them. And so you're not going to have to deal with it as much. Um, but we'll show you this one more time here. And again, you're 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 wanting to be kind of back in here. You don't want to be like super super on uh, on the ball side because if you are, you're going to struggle a little bit with this. But all in all, like you're you're eventually going to get to this front right here. This is really the key. 
and you come right through here. And basically, if you, if you get blocked, just hold your block there. It's going to force everything to the outside, and you're going to be able to to take care of it just fine. So I feel fully confident in this run defense, by the way. Like this, this um, I've tested this out in game. It works really, really well. Um, as far as being able to stop any, really any run from shotgun. And again, if you stand kind of back in here, right, just backed off just enough, then you can run straight through. And if they block you, if they pick you up, that's fine. Inside zone is going to be harder to stuff. But but the thing with inside zone is most people from most people don't run inside zone. Um, most people run O one trap. If they do run inside zone, um, I feel f I feel fairly confident. And part of it is I'm not I'm not putting my guys in the right um, the right crashing. When you crash your line down and then QB contain, it actually makes a big 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 difference in how they're gonna in how they're gonna crash on this thing. And there you see that's what we're looking to do right there. That little that little double team that you're gonna get on that on that. Um, on that left side tag guard is absolutely critical. So, um, anyways, what if they go to power O? Well, you're gonna flip your play again, man aligned, globally blitz everybody, pinch defense, and that's gonna give you this front right here. And then you're gonna basically create your zones. And this is power O. And you'll see here, same kind of thing. Now you can power O is a little bit um a little bit more on your user to stop it really um it really is a little bit more on your user to stop this specific run uh, but what you'll see is you get these guys in the gaps here and again you're going to stand kind of right in here and if they go to power o you're going to go straight through and blow it up basically with your user power o is the hardest one for me to stop but most people don't run that most people will not run power o from got from shotgun just because they are used to not having a ton of success. Um, now, when you when you don't have to pinch your defense either. You can just, if you wanted to, you could just press coverage. It's probably a little bit better if you don't pinch them. And the reason why is because those linebackers won't come out of the gaps as easily. It's going to be harder for those linebackers to come out of the gaps. Really, the key to this is these linebackers being in the gaps. Because when the linebackers are in the gaps like that, the line they they kind of. Um, they don't glitch out the linemen, but they just do a better job. They do a better job at getting free. Um, you know, so that's kind of the, the gist of that right there. But, again, here it is again. Um, again, I'm crashing my line down, throwing both linebackers in the purple zones really quick, making some coverage adjustments. And we're in this basic shell right here. And what you'll notice from power row, I'm just going to run straight through. Most of the times, Darius Smith will blow that up in the backfield anyway. Most of the time, that's going to happen. So you got that as well. Now, what about read option? What about read option from uh, a slot? That's the last thing that we really got to handle, uh, and we'll show you how to do that again. So, again, you're setting up your coverages super, super fast because you already know what you're going to do before you get on the field. That's the key to defense, in my opinion, as far as adjustments go. And let's say they go read option, right? Well, if they go read option, your corner is going to handle the read option. So you don't have to worry about that. As long as you're optioning, um, as long as you're optioning, on conservative you're going to be okay as far as that's concerned the big thing that you've got to worry about once again and kind of the the theme of this is you have to worry about the the handoff that's the run that you're going to have to stop with your user so if i go to read option it's going to be really hard to show this because i'm going to have to play with two controllers but basically they're going to hand it off right here and you see there and it, it's it's darn near impossible to show you re, how to blow up read option but what i want to do is jump into the replay and kind of break this down for you and again this is in my opinion the best shotgun run defense uh, i haven't tested it a ton under center yet uh in game but what you'll see right here is you see that double team now you're going to crash right through now if that left side linebacker was behind the hip of the the left side defensive end, it would have worked a little bit better. But read option does have a little bit of a chance of popping off, especially if they bounce it to the outside. So that's the one run that I would say, you know, you have to kind of be mindful of, but your job as a user is to come through and make the play on that, okay? And I'll show you how you can do that um, um, right here. So again, you're just you're just gonna flip your play, create your, um, create your shell, right? Get everybody to come back to where they're supposed to be. And this is what you get right here, okay? Now, he's going to read option. And sometimes when they audible, it'll mess this guy up right here. So you can kind of, if you just want to bring him down a little bit. But basically, you're just going to be backed off here. Snap the ball, comes right through. And you see they were able to stuff read option. Now, uh, again, if they hand it off to the back, that's to me, um, 
that's to me the hardest thing to stop um, as far as this goes. But again, if you get that linebacker, if you get that linebacker on the left side stacked, it's going to help tremendously with your read option because basically what that's going to do is it's going to free this lane up for your user to be able to run through it. So free it up, and then we're able to come through. And basically we're just pushing the pocket. Most of the time with that, you'll be able to push that push that run to the edge and get a quick block shot. Let me show you the instant replay uh, and kind of show you what's going on. The other thing you want to do, and, and I can't really show it to you uh, in practice mode, we'd have to be in a game mode and you'd have to be seeing it, but when you, if you, if you, um, as soon as they, they snap the ball, click the right stick in and that those linebackers will blitz. You see how they're kind of standing as they are right here. If I click the right stick in, um, the linebackers will blitz down. It'll help a little bit with the run. But right here, you see, like if he bounces this to the outside, he's got a shot. But as you can see, you got the corner out there to be able to come off and you're pushing this run. You're, you're pushing it, meaning you're pushing the gap shoot. And so because you're pushing it, they're going to have to bounce this outside. It's going to be really, really hard um, for them to to be able to, you know, be able to do that. Okay. Um, let's see. What's going on with my linemen? I don't know what my linebackers are doing here. We're going to flip this a few times. Yeah, I don't know what happened with my linemen. Let's, uh, we'll just run a, run a quick play. Um, now, as far as, like, passing, um, you, you, you know, you basically have – your 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 basic shell here right and this is why man align is so important so if you keep that alignment on default you're going to oftentimes get a fairly decent alignment from this okay but you're just going to flip the play and the reason you flip the play is because every time you you know when you're on the wide side by flipping the play that's going to help it but anyways let me show you uh one last thing with this as far as clicking the right stick in um to help a little bit with the run so i'm going to flip the play globally blitz my linebackers man align press and then zone these guys out and that's my basic shell okay so now what I'm gonna do is as soon as I snap this ball I'm going to try to click my right stick in okay so snap the ball click the right stick in you see the linebackers will hold their gaps they're gonna hold that middle so the middle is really taken away and then your slot corner the theory is the slot corner is going to do a good job of taking away um, you know if they if they run that if they want that run in that direction so that is the nickel 335 normal shotgun run defense. I think it's actually fairly decent, fairly effective. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know how it works for you. If you want to get my full defensive ebook, that's available in the description. If you want me to, if you want to see me run this defense live, um, you can come check out my live stream every night at 10 o'clock PM Eastern time. I'll be streaming right on my YouTube channel tonight. Um, and last but not least, guys, if you want to get our free schemes that we release every single week, go ahead and just shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed today's video.